Hi, in this tutorial we'll see uh, the different column types in Dance Stack Table and how to define them. So as you can see that we are using the Dance Stack Table library and we have got different types of columns. Um, Dance Stack Table defines columns or um, basically divides columns into three types. So you have got display columns. So display columns doesn't really have any connection with the data and they are used to basically show some you know ui component let's say checkboxes for you know selecting rows or something of the sort so this is what a display column is it cannot be sorted or filtered or sector because it's not connected to any data then you have accessor columns so accessor columns are basically the columns which are connected to the data and they display data and they can be sorted and you know filtered uh, these operations can be performed on them and then there is another column type known as group columns and they are basically used to group columns together. They can be used to group accessor columns or you know display columns and accessor columns, whatever. But they basically group columns together. As you can see, this is a name group, and inside this there are two accessor groups. This is a meta group, and inside this we have three um, access groups. And this is a display group with uh, checkboxes present. Cool. Um. So right let me remove all the columns and then we can see how we can define them cool so right now there are no columns so we can see that the uh, there's no table present <coughs> so let's see first of all let's uh, display a display column because that's simple so in order to uh, first of all in order to create a column you have to uh, use this create column helper function from task stack React table and then this and we can give it a type as well because uh, the type of my data is person so i will give it this type as well because that will basically give type safety and whenever i will be using the property uh, accessor property to determine that hey for this column pick the data from this property uh, from the objects it would basically give me an error if the property name is wrong so that is cool so first of all let's um display use the display column so we'll use display function <coughs> inside this we have to um, we can give it an id so let me say select person is the id and then cell so cell is a function which would be present in uh, the accessor column as well and basically this function uh, you know tells us that uh, what will what would render in the cell correspond to that particular column because there is a column but there are cells in between as well below it uh, you know if there are three rows there are three cells corresponding to that column so what should render in that column so uh, because i want to render a checkbox i can say uh, no input type is equal to checkbox cool and now we can see three checkboxes <coughs> By default, there is no header, but if you want to show a header, you can. But uh, normally, that is the practice for display columns in any table library or something. You don't really, uh, you know, um, uh, display a name, but you can still do it. You can have a string as a header or a component. I can say, you know, I can write select person here and the header is displaying here. And same with the footer. Select person footer and it is displaying here as well but it doesn't make sense so i will remove them these are the properties which would be present in you know uh, the accessor column as well which we'll see in a bit cool so now let's display another column so let me say column helper dot accessor so now we are uh, trying to display an accessor column which would actually display data so first thing is the accessor so accessor is can be a string or an accessor function and this would basically determine what do we want to show in the cell so um, um you know it is basically telling me that um, you know these are the keys you want to use if you want to use a key or you can use a function as well so let's use a key for now i can say first name and then an object for further things so the same i can give it an id but by default if i'm using a string accessor key there is no need for id this uh, is by default the id for this column first name so i can skip that um the header i can skip as well if i want to have the same exact key but i obviously don't want a camel case key so i will say uh, first name 
and then by default um, you don't need to uh, show the cell value as well by default it would basically see that first name is the accessory key right so it would just display you know all the first names present so by default this is okay oh i needed to show the header yep so by default i just uh, you know added a header and yeah it is displaying all the first names in that array i can skip this as well if i want you know just um, have the accessor key here and it is displaying the column but now it is using the accessor key as a header which i don't want so i'll you know, do that and uh, i can have an accessor function as well so i can say person person dot and you can see how you know it is presenting me all the properties because i added the type here which is cool so person has these properties i can say first name first name cool so you can see you know, um it is still behaving the same way um yeah if i want to however and uh, render a personal thing like let's say a you know uh, a separate component and not just the uh, text from the array i can you know render a component so i can say i will get a lot of different things from here i can uh, uh, no uh, yeah. i get info and info prop from here and i can do let's say i want to render the first name with color blue so i can say p and uh, style color should be blue and then here i would say info dot render value so now you can see this the same thing but um, now it's the color is blue because i use the uh, basically a custom component for it um yeah that is uh, but it is so now let me copy this and paste it for other columns as well so let me add last name here last name last name i don't need really the cell as well because i just want to show the value so i will do this then let me add the um here i will display the age let me replace the header name age then i have visits <coughs> and then last but not the least i have progress let me type that cool so now you can see that uh, you know all the data which was in that array is being beautifully displayed here but now i want to do one thing for the progress column i want to display a custom component custom component as in a progress bar we all know that html has got a progress bar as well so i would like to you know display that uh, progress as a progress bar here you know a custom component for it so i can do that and uh, let's see i can i will say cell would give me info and then progress value would be info dot render value and then i would say max should be 100 okay uh, get value so basically there are two functions um get value as well and as well as render value um render value is giving a type error so I used a get value they are kind of the same i don't know exactly what's the difference because uh, the documentation doesn't you know isn't that good so now you can see that i have a custom component here which is pretty cool now what i would like to is i would like to display a footer but you know a footer which actually is something you know right now if i want to display a footer let's say in the headers column i can say footer and you know i am a footer that is okay but does it serve any purpose you know that's not really related to the data so you know that type of footer isn't of any use but um, normally we have seen that if you have a data grid or table in the footer normally we you know display the sum or you know average or whatever of the entire column so now what i would want now is to display the sum of all the visits in the footer so we can do that as well 
uh, just like all the header cell and footer um, header and cell footer expects a component as well and it gets the same you know info here so I can do info and then this info basically gets a lot of different information which you know it can get the information of the particular table it can get the information of the particular column etc what I want is I want to display the information of the table so I would say table dot get filtered row model so this is basically giving me all the data and I would say dot rows dot reduce and here I am getting the total and then here I'm getting the row so I will say total plus I'm basically using reduce to sum all the values which you will see um, so I will say row dot get value and here I will pass the accessor so visits and the initial value so now you can see oh it's displaying and let me see uh, I must have done something wrong um, okay what is the problem table dot get filtered row model dot rows dot reduce we've got total row total plus number row dot get value visits and then zero hmm. weird Oh, there is no accessor key, I guess. Yeah, so basically I um, didn't specify an accessor key here and I was using an accessor key here. So I didn't really get uh, the column name. So, no, you know, now you can see that I can display the um, sum of the all the values for that particular column as well using this method. There may be other methods, but uh, yeah, that is one method so now i would like to discuss group columns so now i can basically group column is basically used to group columns together it's not you know i mean it's not connected to the data model as well and also it cannot be sorted filter etc so i i will say column helper dot group group expects an object i can specify a group here i can say um, id will be name header would be name and then columns and columns would be just you know these columns so i can copy these two columns let's say and paste it here now you will see that the first name and last name columns are under the name group similarly i can copy this let me paste it here let me copy these two columns and paste it here and let me call this you know meta which is the uh, this is the meta information or the miscellaneous information for uh, this particular table so now you can see two groups the name columns <coughs> the first name and last name columns are under the name group and the age vis visits and progress columns are under the meta group so that is what columns are in tad select table uh, in this tutorial we discuss the types of tables and how you can define them and the various properties you know how you can tweak the cell value table uh, header value footer value and how you can you know display custom components how you can uh, show different things in the footer we basically summed all the column values and how and at the end we you know saw how we can group columns together also and uh, how to display display columns so that's it for the tutorial if you like the tutorial you can like and subscribe if you have any questions you can comment down below as always like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye.